Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on Arc Mobile, and we're here with a Pteranodon. This is episode 11, I believe. Um, but we have this guy here. I I just bullied him and knocked him out, and I didn't have enough time to start the recording because I didn't want him to get away. It's only level 50, but it's the highest one in the area, and we can always just upgrade a Pteranodon later on, so that doesn't really matter. I did ruin the taming effectiveness, though, which I would have liked on the Pteranodon, but whatever. Uh, just got some meat here, some narcotic for it. Pteranodon's torpor goes down really fast, so it's not a creature that you can just leave, go do something else and come back. You kind of just have to stay there with it. Uh, since it's also only level 50, I'm not going to bother using kibble on it or anything, so just the normal meat. Uh, but, yeah, with this flyer, we'll be able to get around the map. And we're still level 38 to the saddle, so we still need to get that. But we can go uh, get a couple notes, explore notes, once we have it tamed up because then it'd be a whole lot easier to get metal because there are, and crystal. So we can get a spyglass because I know where all that is. That, well, the closest spot for it is. Also cementing paste because we can hit up beaver dams and also a bunch of others. Okay, yeah. you, just get away. still gotta see that there you go see it goes down really fast and they eat really slow too uh, i should probably look maybe there's another team around here somewhere as well that could also be tamed up just a simple easy one uh, i'll wait though on that okay only six percent each eat yes yeah, so this guy will take a little bit of time not. Yeah, to knock them out, the easiest way is just to uh, bowl with them and then just shoot them trank arrows. Remember, if you want your effectiveness and everything, wait for five seconds before it's each shot. Uh, yeah, so I just did that and got knocked out, and then I started recording right after. Uh, but yeah, we should probably go around and see if there's anything. <gasps> Oh, it's easier to tame around here. Moss chops, look at 85 moss chops. Okay, let's go for that. So moss chops are passive tame. I think you saw right there, you click the food in the last inventory slot. Click it once, wait for it to get hungry again. Uh, moss chops are very particular eaters, so every time that you feed them with the tame, they could switch. And some of the stuff could be pretty rare, like rare mushrooms, rare flowers, or sometimes it's like prime fish meat or something. So I usually don't even bother going for high level ones because at the beginning at least, because they always have something that uh, that I don't have. But let's try and go for this guy. Moss chops are the basic fiber gatherers. So you cannot ride them uh, on Xbox and PC and everything. You could ride them. Sucks that you can't on here, wish you could. It makes them a whole lot better in my opinion. But they're, they're fiber gatherers, and they also have efficiencies in other things. I believe raw prime fish meat, sap, uh, rare flowers. I think rare mushrooms too, I don't know exactly. But they can gather quite a bit of stuff. Uh, so this guy won't take four feeds, that's good. Come on, uh, get hungry again. 85 though, with 42 plus levels. <gasps> Assuming we keep the effectiveness and can actually tame it. It's a pretty good level. Uh, so yeah, you would just put them on wandering where there are a lot of bushes around. And they'll go around picking a ball of fiber and everything. Come on, get hungry already. Dude, come on. Let's get hungry. 
All right. Uh, I'd also probably go check on the turn down. Oh, there you go. 60%. Let's go check on the Raptor will keep it safe, but just need that torpor. There you go. All right. So, yeah, Maz Chep's, uh, see how he was moving his arm like that? That's how he would gather them. But it'd be on actual bushes, not just anywhere on the ground. Yeah, that. Uh, grabbing like the grass. So, uh, I don't know. I they're pretty good creatures on the other version because you could ride them. Here I don't really want it, but you need some fiber. And it's a lot easier with this. Until we get metal. Get a uh, I forgot what the tool is called it too close. Yeah. A lot of fiber with. Yeah, I completely forgot the name of it. There's a tool that basically the same thing as this guy. Come on, get hungry. Now, to get the terrain on saddle, you also, to craft it, other than having the ingram, you need a hide, fiber, I believe, and then chitin slash keratin. So, it does that as, you could do it as either or, or a mix of the two. Uh, chitin or keratin, chitin and keratin, keratin and chitin, whatever, whatever combo of it. I don't know the exact numbers of it, so I'm not going to say because I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, but you can get chitin from bugs and, and everything like that. So you got the drones and everything, the chitin or whatever it's called, the spiders, the scorpions. Arthropelias also drop it, I think. And then keratin, you get from some of the bigger creatures. Trikes drop keratin. Carboneums drop keratin, I believe. Uh, and just all the bigger creatures. Stegos, I think. But you get those together, and then you can break the saddle. Uh, should probably say that the pairs. Uh, Tyranodon, uh, their weight usually need a lot of upgrades if you plan on like carrying materials with them. Because <gasps> until we get an RG, this is the best way to do it. When flying to cover long distance, uh, RGs are my favorite flyers. Uh, they're the giant birds that live like on the mountains and in the Arctic. <sighs> we should be taming one of those soon. Got almost everything. That I use a trap for, though. I don't just knock it out. These bowlers don't work on it. Come on, Moz Chop, you need one more feed. Come on. Yeah, you poop. You get it. Get hungry. Come on. They're faster than people, I believe, but they're not too fast still. Yeah. Uh, come on. Hmm. Yeah, that's like if you run out of creature space you can chronicle them which basically gives you their implant and you can revive them with amber later 
that's that you only do like very uh, far on when you've got that many creatures. We still not even close to that. But I am going to be getting rid of some creatures at some point. We're not going to need that dodo farm forever. That's mostly just as a food when I run out or and for when I eat the oviraptor. The, the eggs. Yeah, you get that implant there. So we'll definitely be getting rid of the dodos at some point. And any bad creatures we'll probably get rid of unless they hold some value. The Iguandam we're definitely never getting rid of. Probably get rid of uh, Perry though. Alright, so about a quarter of the way there. He's on wander now. I'm not even going to where the bushes are. Chops is safely back at base now. If you have a new comment section. Alright, anything else that we need to do here? Can't craft terrain on Savia because we don't Ingrams. Alright, we're back. And Tyranodon is gonna be teamed up in like 30 seconds probably. Probably like 30 seconds. I put the buttons up just to see on the above the hot bar, just so you guys can see. I don't really like it, but let me know in the comments if you like it better with that on. Uh, won't appear for a couple episodes, like I said, because I got some truth this, which I'm glad to be out of. I want it on here now instead of the Raptor this time. You know. Come on, turn it down, Tama. This one should have been named Terry. Whatever. Probably won't last that long. And we got the 500 health yeah. We'll see. But Tarandon, it needs to be higher level. That's all I'm gonna say. We're really gonna go out looking for a high level one soon. Now that we got this one, we can go all over the map faster. Yeah, because all the flyers are faster than most land creatures. You can get around easier because you don't have to worry about terrain and all that. Or other creatures since most of the flying creatures are <gasps> passive and passive flee. Except for the RG, that's like territorial neutral. I don't even know if that's what's called territorial neutral. But you get too close, they'll attack. You got the tapies, which are passively, terrain down passively, wet souls, they're passively. Alright, tamed up. Level 63. Yeah, alright. 
to get that biotoxin out of you. I decided to use that instead of just using all the rest of the narcotics. Thought I'd save some. All right. Uh, 660 stam, 189 weight. Yeah, you're definitely gonna need some weight upgrades. I like the colors, like the dirty watermelon. Yeah, let's get you back. Come on. And after that, I'll probably hit up a note or two. I might just do like one on camera. That way, uh, not watching me run around the whole rest of this. That's not something really they have like where the lo locations are everywhere on like just search on google or something. and that that's gonna be a lot easier with the train down too because like a lot of times i've gone to a lot of notes but like there's something big and dangerous that i can't get around right off yet. so like the train on comes in handy because you just fly over that and get the note fly back on it fly up out of the the pen stay flying there you go land it outside buddy come on yeah I did the photography herbivores uh, I didn't want to do that on a camera because it connects to your photos and everything. So it would show context and who you can send it to. But you click photo mode, just right here. You'd have to go up to different kinds of herbivores. I forgot how many it was, like 10, I think it was. And then a green box will appear. And you take the picture. At that point, the upload button, that was the right. You have to do that all I think it was 10. But yeah, and now... Uh, got the invertebrates one, which is the bugs. So have to wait till we uh, are ready for the cave to do that. That'll be the easiest. There's spiders and scorpions in there, and if it out the pelias, we'll find the bugs out here after we get that. get this guy also because I don't want him to die. I kind of want to keep the die morph around. What's the fishing area? No, don't have fishing area yet. I've never even tried doing one of those fishing missions. Alright, knowledge of your forebears. What's the closest thing? Come on, I've lost Okay, that falls. Because you shouldn't fly up, and if you ever decide to land... Yeah, just ignore it. Sticking halfway through the wall.
Okay guys, so we're back and we got the Explorer. No, I didn't realize it was down here. Uh, yeah, that's all the time we have for today guys. If you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will be catching you in the next episode. See you guys.